Hey guys, this is Amy with Stick with the Plant. Today we're talking about how no man is an island. Stay right here, I'll explain. So glad you joined me today. I'm talking about how no man is an island. You know, no matter what your personality is, you are not made to live alone. The gifts that you have on the inside of you, they're made to share with people. You know, I've prayed before, Lord, send me friends. Send me friends that have a like purpose, like me, that we can really enjoy life together. You know, I can remember being in middle school and I didn't really like group projects. I didn't want to work with others. I thought my ideas were the best. I remember in science class one time we had to do uh, a project and someone needed to write the report, do the experiment, do the poster board for it, present it to the class. And I just told my group, I said, hey guys, I'll do it all. <laughs> I didn't want to hear their opinions or how they wanted to do it. I just wanted to do it. And they said, okay, Amy, great. I said, you guys rest. I'll get the A for it. And, you know, I think well, that wasn't the best way to be. But, uh, you know, as I got in high school, I realized, hey, it's more fun with friends. I remember doing another project about Macbeth, and I, and I pulled in the team. I pulled in my friends. I said, look, I can't do this all. You know, someone wrote the report. Someone had to do the poster board. I remember I was in charge of writing the song. You know, and we got an A, and it was so much better because I had friends. We were all working together. I had to let them give me ideas and, you know, and learn how to be a true friend that could listen. I'm so glad the Lord taught me that through the years. You know, I can remember when I was little, my sister Faith, would, she loved to watch Shrek. And you remember that line in Shrek where Donkey is singing? He's like, I'm all alone. There's nobody here beside me. And then he goes into, you gotta have friends. <laughs> she would make us laugh so hard. I, I love that. But you've got to have friends. You know, I was in a parent-teacher conference and the teacher was telling me about Lake, my son. She said, and he doesn't really like to do group projects. And that's really what my classroom is about. And I remember thinking about back in the day, me in middle school, I didn't like group projects. So it was like she was describing me. She said, and he just wants to do it all. He likes his own ideas. He'll take all the work on himself just to get an A. And you know, and I'm looking at it, I'm wondering, what's wrong? What's the problem? Sounds great to me. <laughs> but you know, I see that friends, we're not made to be an island. We're not made to be isolated. We're made uh, that, you know, iron sharpens iron. The word of God says that we need other people. They'll help even make your gift on the inside even greater. Now, I was reading a study online that said that um, most Americans have not made a new friend in the last five years. How sad is that? You know, I think it will let the Lord help us to be friendly, have a little confidence to speak to people. You know, it's really fun to have new friends. Um, I heard that it will lighten your mood and just really give you a better attitude in life. If you'll strike up conversations with complete strangers, you'll leave that feeling so uplifted, even if you just talk about the weather. You know, today I was checking out the grocery store and I, the lady that was checking me out had the cutest haircut. I said, oh, I love your hair. And she said, oh, I cut it myself. Thank you. And then all the ladies behind me in line started saying, oh, it's great. You've done a great job. And when I was walking out the door, she, she poked me and said, hey, thanks. You really made me feel great. I was like, that was so easy. It was my pleasure. I felt great leaving. <laughs> I just talked to 10 new people that I, I just met. I got new friends. So you were made not to live on an island or to feel isolated. You're part of this, a greater continent, as that old quote says. You know, you need to expand, you know, and just kind of branch out. Strike up new conversations. Like the Word of God says in Proverbs 18, He said, He who has friends first showed himself friendly. For there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. If you want friends, you want a happier life, you want to have some more fun, you're going to have to be friendly first. You're going to have to ask somebody to coffee or, or strike up a conversation or just, you know, smile a little more. It'll help you have more friends. And that's what God, He wants you. He wants you to get those gifts, what He's called you, that God light on the inside of you. It's not just for you to be alone in your house with. It's for you to shine and to shine bright in the calling and the plans He has for you. So glad you were with me today. We love hearing from you. We're so glad you're sharing this with all of your friends. You're making our team stronger. We're getting this out to new people each and every week. If you're on Facebook, go ahead, like this page. If you're on YouTube, go ahead, hit that subscribe button because we're gonna bring you a brand new video next week. I'll see you then.